Today's rant brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, New Works has a fix for you. For your plumbing needs and repairs, just go to newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W-W-R-X plumbing.com. Hey, join me later today, live on Listen Out, 3 o'clock Pacific. It is open forum Wednesday. What a circus the Brooklyn Nets have been all summer. Let me take you back to May 11th. The Nets had just been swept by the Boston Celtics. The general manager, Sean Marks, comes out and makes a couple of comments about how we want players that want to be here, that are committed, that are selfless, that are all about the team, and I'm not just talking about Kyrie. And he made some other comments. Then a couple of months later, Kevin Durant goes to the Nets owner, Joe Sy, and says, you need to fire the general manager, Marks, and the head coach, Steve Nash, or else you need to trade me. Apparently, the Nets tried to trade Durant, but they didn't get a deal that was sufficient for them. So what did they do? They get on a plane and they fly across the country to Los Angeles to kiss the ass of a guy that last year they gave a four-year, $198 million deal to. And so they have a meeting with Kevin Durant. And after the meeting, Sean Marks puts out a statement, and now all of a sudden, they are just happily married again, and everybody's on the same page, and everything is just going to be great. What a joke. Seriously. Good job by the New York Post for calling out the stooges of the Nets front office and ownership. It's amazing. Can you imagine signing a player to a $200 million extension, and then less than a year later he says, you need to trade me or fire the general manager? and the head coach. I mean, this is an organization that has rolled out the red carpet for Durant, and the guy apparently is never happy. Did you see social media yesterday responding to Patrick Beverly? What did Durant do? Mr. Sensitive put out a tweet and said, yep, hashtag blame KD. I don't know what's going to make this man happy. I really don't. It's a shame because he's an amazing talent one of the best basketball players of his entire generation. You know what I hope? I hope on opening night, when Kevin Durant is announced to the crowd, you know what would be great? If they all booed the hell out of him. That's what should happen. And that's my rant for today. Hey, if you like what I have to say, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. And again, have yourself a great day.